With the incredible successes of Elder Scrolls V and Fallout 4, Bethesda Game Studios is in a really good place right now. They've gotten to a point in which they can afford to open up a second studio in Montreal called Bethesda Game Studios Montreal. And they can even afford to work on seven projects at the same time. Yes, you heard that right. Bethesda Game Studios is working on seven games simultaneously. Mind you, some projects are bigger than others and they're being helmed by different teams, but still, that's pretty ambitious. The games that they're working on include Skyrim for Switch, Fallout 4 VR, are Elder Scrolls 6, which is apparently ways off, and a new mobile game. On top of that, based on recent rumors and trademarks, it looks like Bethesda Game Studios is also working on a single-player sci-fi RPG called Starfield, although we know next to nothing about this game. So in total, we have five out of seven projects accounted for, with the remaining two still being a complete mystery. With that in mind, I would like to direct you to a NeoGAF post by user Niralak, who recently translated a job listing from Bethesda Game Studios Montreal's website. The job listing is described as follows. Bethesda Game Studios is looking for a great game performance manager based in Montreal to join the team that is pushing the bleeding edge AAA freemium game development. In this role, you will work with game team to envision, evolve, and operate monetization strategies, targeting the intersection of revenue generation goals and quality player experience. Ideally, you will have experience defining and operating online game business models, and have a deep understanding of player interactions with those models, both at the individual and community levels. Highlighted responsibilities include working with the game design team on monetization, design, strategy, and execution, envisioning in-game content and business model recommendations, and setting requirements and create specifications for monetization features. In other words, yes, this game will have microtransactions on some level. Now, before we all lose our collective minds, it's important to note that this game is being developed by Bethesda Montreal. It's separate from whatever Todd Howard is working on in the main branch of Bethesda Game Studios based in Maryland, USA. So no, I don't believe that this freemium game has anything to do with Starfield, which I believe Todd Howard's team is working on. Then again, we really don't know much about Starfield, so I couldn't be 100% certain about that. Now, another easy assumption to make is that this freemium game could be Bethesda Game Studios' upcoming mobile game, but I don't think this is true because they specifically mention that this freemium game will be AAA in nature. That only leaves us with one possibility. Whatever AAA freemium game that Bethesda Montreal is working on is most likely one of the two mystery titles that we still know nothing about. So if we update the list of the seven games that Bethesda Game Studios is working on as rumored currently, it should look something like this. As for the remaining mystery project, the rumor is that it's none other than Fallout 5, which seems like a reasonable assumption to make. So for now, that's what I'll fill it in with. This gives us a full list of all seven projects that Bethesda Game Studios is currently helming. So yeah, a freemium game. I am already getting a bad feeling about this. Keep in mind though that we know nothing about the game and its monetization model, so it's way too early to make any kind of judgment. The microtransaction stuff could end up being solely on an aesthetic level and may have no bearing on our ability to properly play this game. I should also remind you that there are some freemium games that do it right, like Warframe, which can be played effectively from beginning to end without spending a single cent. And then there's popular games like League of Legends, which is technically freemium, but the way they cycle between heroes weekly and you can only choose from those unless you like play the game for a long time and manage to unlock the heroes, or if you actually purchase the heroes with real money, does put players at some disadvantage. The Hearthstone card game is also a good example of freemium. You can work your way up and unlock all the cards that you need in game, or you can opt to purchase booster packs with real world money. So there's a wide spectrum of how freemium games work, making it hard to pinpoint exactly what Bethesda Montreal's project will be like. One thing that I am sure of is that on some level, this game will rely on some type of online component judging by how the job description lists that whoever applies must ideally have experience defining and operating online game business models. I'll keep an eye out for it, but if it turns out to be shit, guess what? No harm done. Again, this is Bethesda Montreal we're talking about. They have no bearing on whatever Todd Howard and his team 
may be working on next. So regardless of how this freemium game turns out, there's really not much to worry about. At best, it could turn out to be a good game with a fairly modest business model. And at worst, it'll end up being a game that we'll just ignore as we anticipate Bethesda Game Studios' next single-player RPG epic from Todd Howard's team. So yeah, there you go, folks. What are your thoughts on Bethesda Montreal helming a freemium game? Do you have a good feeling or a bad feeling about it? Do you have any theories about what this game could be? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoy my content, consider supporting me on Patreon so we can remain independent from third-party sponsorship and annoying corporate interference. And to be further updated on all things Bethesda, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out. <laughs>